so i've made a lot of videos on broiler growth promoter and i've made videos that will show you how you can ensure that your broilers reach remarkable weights at even 35 days i mean you can get 2.5 kg in 35 days and amazing weights in just six weeks you can be getting 3.2 kg of broiler weight in six weeks that's just about 42 days you know i made such videos where you can use different kinds of growth promoters i'm going to be leaving the link to my playlist where you can find all those growth promoters the playlist that talks about them i'm going to be leaving the link here and also in the description below you see i've talked about all these growth promoters but you won't be getting any quality result from these growth promoters if you fail to adhere to these three secrets i'm going to be sharing with you and you don't even want to miss the second and the third points because they are key to all the kinds of results that you have been trying to get in terms of profit in terms of maximum weight and all that they are key so you don't want to miss the second and the third points and i'll start with the hoovios which is get good and quality chicks yes that looks simple and sounds simple and it's like i say it all the time but it remains true all the time as well you need to get quality chicks expecting a giant broiler from a poor quality chick is like trying to rob the bank you know you can't just get it and that's why you need to work with reputable arteries for some of you who can't get chicks directly from the arteries you may want to work with reputable or reliable vendors and the second one is that the second point the second secret you don't start broke yeah you don't start raising your broilers when you are broke you know some people start raising broilers without enough capital and they're just in a hurry to get the day old chicks and once the day old chicks come they don't even have sufficient or enough money to buy feed and they just get just anyhow feed and they start raising their birds you start your day old broilers with poor quality feed you are going to regret that step throughout their life journey why because one of the reasons why the broiler starter has the highest protein in the line of feed is because it is highly essential that your broiler chicks have access to high quality feed high protein feed in the first few weeks of their life this is because that first few weeks of the broiler life is very critical it's that time where everything that matters in the life of a broiler that actually makes them a broiler is forming all those organs are forming even the crop the intestines that allows feed to pass through it and then the, the the nutrients are absorbed and then they begin to form the tissue that make the meat that you talk about all these things are forming when they are just small so it is important that you allow those organs those things to form properly so that they will be able to maximize the feed that you are giving them at that time and later on in life this is the only thing that can guarantee that you get the best performance from this breed once you start with poor quality feed and maybe later after two weeks you have enough money and you buy all those quality feed that you want you've started badly and you can never recover it all right before i go on to the third point the school of poultry holds every friday of the week you don't want to miss it and the third one the third one you see when i was much younger my mom had this grinding machine in fact she had about two to three of them we grind tomatoes we grind um beans we grind yam flour we grind um, corn and all that but as a lesson i learned learning to grind these things i'm talking about yeah when you're grinding things that have lots of moisture like tomatoes for example you don't have problem with the flow rate as you are with the pesto and you're pushing down the tomatoes down the throat of the grinder it just keeps coming and you don't really need to add lots of water but when you're grinding things like um beans that has just little amount of moisture you really need to push it down and then add water what i notice if you're grinding beans or you're grinding uh corn and you don't add water as you go is as you keep trying to push down the beans or the corn through the throat of the grinder the whole adding blend of the beans or corn gets stuck in the what i'll call the crop of the grinding machine so as you're pushing it down it's going down but it's all coming it's all coming together in the crop of that grinding machine or that grinder and until later if you fail to hard water it won't come down yeah maybe if you're lucky that the machine doesn't go off on you it will come down later but it's going to be very difficult for it to come down into the bowl into the receiving bowl but then once you had once you start to hard water the whole thing starts to come down gently and if you started with adding water as you go as you're pushing down the beans or the corn 
through the throat of the grinder the, and you're adding water to it the whole thing is coming down the flow is just smooth and that's the same thing that happens with your chicken you know see they are hitting the dry mash or the dry pellets they are eating all these things and if you fail to serve them with clean fresh water you ain't going to get the kind of results that you're looking for yes i know that you may be giving them water but if the water is not clean and fresh you may not be getting the kind of result that you want take for example and if you're a broiler farmer you must have noticed this before if you add uh, maybe you have served your broilers with feed and now you come you come to replace the water even if they had water before once you place the fresh water you see that most of them will start to drink from the fresh water this is because they prefer that fresh water to stale water, water that has been there since the previous day. They prefer the fresh water. And you're going to get results. The digestion is going to be smooth. Imagine that those times that they come to rush for the fresh water, you didn't provide them with fresh water and they're not drinking as much as they should. Just like the grinding machine scenario, the feed is just in the crop. No matter the quality of the feed that you're serving, whether you bought uh, the most expensive and uh, the feed that has the highest protein you can find, maybe 25% crude protein, that's crazy already. If you have that and you don't give them clean, fresh water, the feed is just going to remain in the crop for a long time. Yeah, it may still get digested when they are going back to that stale, dirty water and they're just trying to manage it. They're just saying, oh God, I wish there was cool fresh water well let's just take this and as they are trying to manage the water the food is trying to go down it's digesting gradually and if you are lucky they don't get infected they don't have diseases from the dirty water the food will still get digested but at a very slow rate and don't forget dwellers are meat making machines as meat making machines their singular duty is to ensure that that feed you are giving them they turn it they convert it into meat they are hardwired to do this and you need to maximize their potential but without that clean fresh water you ain't maximizing any potential you're just getting some c kind of results c okay kind of results but if you want the a okay results the results that you look at your birds and you are amazed you want to serve them with clean fresh water all the time and one of the ways you can do this actually is by using automatic drinkers I say this, but it looks like I want you guys to invest so much in your poultry business, but it's the truth. Imagine most of you may not be doing it yourself. Maybe you have workers and you say, ah, my workers, they are, they, they are getting paid. They can actually serve uh, the birds with water every time they need water. Don't forget they are humans and occasionally they, they get tired and maybe the birds are expecting fresh water like now but they delayed the water for about two hours. They wanted to rest. They wanted to have their breakfast. They wanted to have their lunch before going to serve them with fresh water. All that time is your money wasting away. All that time that your worker is eating or gisting instead of giving your broiler chicken fresh water, cool fresh water, all that time is your money wasting away. So don't forget, good chicks, and don't start broke make sure that you have at least the feed that you use for a month is already waiting there before the chicks arrive so good chicks don't start broke and clean fresh water clean fresh water all the way these three tips if you master them i tell you all you need to do is just get your quality feed and continue with your superb management you're gonna laugh and smile to the bank at the end of the day don't forget i'm diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner till we meet again peace